Alrighty, so in today's video, you're gonna see us shoot um, some five shot groups at 100 yards with Stayball 6.5, the CCI 400, and the Burger 108 boat tails. Now, my original plan for this video was to shoot two Fowlers at um, 34.5 grains and 35 grains based on um, some load data online, and then shoot two five shot groups at 35.5 grains. Now, my grandpa ended up stopping by and um, he hadn't shot any of my guns that I'd, you know, chambered or anything like that. And he'd really never shot any like, you know, higher end bolt action guns. So um, what ends up happening is I shoot the first seven shots, the two Fowlers and the five shot group. And then I had him shoot the, uh, the second five shot group. Well, turns out he hasn't used a first focal plane reticle and um, he ended up using some of the sub tensions to shoot his group. And so we end up with a uh, four shot group that is, oh, about two mils away from what I had as the intended point of aim, so it's not gonna be on camera. So I'll show you that group at the end, and I have the velocity from that, so I have, I'll end up with 10 shots for velocity at that 35.5 grain, and then a five shot group and a four shot group, and you'll just catch the five shot group on camera. So um, stay tuned, you're about to watch that. All right, so you see the two Fowler shots on the left there um, at 34.5 and 35 grains. They grouped together, so that was pretty good. It showed me things were going to group together. Then I shot a five shot group at 0.43. Um, there looks like a pretty good even group. And then if I scroll the camera up, you'll see where my grandfather's group landed. He actually ended up shooting a better group than me, but there's only four shots here because he figured out his point of aim for one of the shots. So he shot a 0.38 for four shots. And then you can see the one there um, that he landed on another area where, you know, not the ideal point of aim because the point of aim was supposed to be down here. But either way, 10 shot velocity average, we averaged 27.78, um, 24 ES and a 9.3 10 shot SD. So happy with those numbers. They look really consistent. The groups look consistent. Things look good. Um, I'd like to get a little bit more speed out of it though. So as you guys know, I've been trying to find a load that is with a ball powder that I can throw out of a powder measure, um, kind of as a PRS load. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty good. I just need to push up just a little bit to get a little bit more velocity. I'd like to be about 2850 as far as velocity goes. So looks like Stayball 6.5 is gonna work a little better than Stayball Match, which isn't all that surprising considering there was no load data for Stayball Match. So. No weird bolt lift with this. The brass looks perfect. There's no issues. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry you only got to see one five shot group, but I wanted to give my grandpa a chance to shoot the gun. And uh, like I said, he kind of, you know, used a little bit different point of aim than I expected. So hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.